Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I am building out of Mutations and Monsters and Simeon is building out of Crisis. Simeon, who is on your team, my man? First up on Team Crisis is good old Uncle Sam. We got one vote. That's all I needed. I was ready to put him on the team. So Uncle Sam's here to wallop you. He's rolling up his sleeves. Um, he's just a big bruiser, 140 points. He's got some decent defense values. He's got some decent damage top dial, a little bit of survivability down dial. Uh, he's got one special damage power, and that is he has the giant symbol. So on clicks two through four, he gets giant. And why shouldn't he? He's as big as my country. Uh, one special attack power that he gets randomly at the end and at the very beginning and that is, give me your tired, your poor, when Uncle Sam makes a close combat attack, modify his attack value by plus one for each friendly character four or fewer squares away to which Uncle Sam can draw a clear line of fire, and that is marked with one or more action tokens. So basically, if he can, within four squares and line of fire, if he can see friendlies and they have an action token, he gets a plus one attack for each one of those. Mm. Could have worded it a little bit better, like... I did. Um, they could have worded a lot better in this set. I mean, yeah. in these old games, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna blame him too much. Uh, he does have the transporter boot symbol, so not only can he carry, but he can also uh, hypersonic with a minus two to his attack. So, you know, watch out. He could combo that with his uh, special attack power. And here's a little blow up of his sculpt, as you can see, mm. pinstriped pants. I hear they wouldn't let him be on the uh, cover of Vogue. No. Because no. his legs were too long. <laughs> but, um, all right. All right. Uh, next up, pulling in the heavy weight as far as uh, support powers go, is number 036, the Chief. Uh, coming in at 63 points, he's got Outsiders. He's got Outwit. He gets Perplex later. He's got Support as a speed power top dial. So that's oh, baby. Super good. Um, <laughs> He's got Manipulate as his special attack power throughout his entire dial, and that gives him leadership. If leadership would allow you to add an action token to your, or an action to your total for the turn, which it automatically does, I'm told, uh, you can instead put a Manipulate token on the chief's on the chief's character card. If there are two or fewer Manipulate tokens on the card. So you can add up to two, basically. Uh, when another friendly character would take pushing damage, you can remove a manipulate token from the chief's character card and roll a d6. On a three through six, the character ignores pushing damage. So basically, I've got a little bit better than a 50-50 chance of giving someone willpower. Uh, yes. For it at that turn. Uh, he also has two clicks of strategist. The chief can use perplex and mastermind. He can deal the damage to a friendly character that has a higher point value if that character shares a keyword with the chief, <laughs> which is just how Mastermind works. Uh, so bo just... both his powers... Oh, sorry, keep yeah. going. <laughs> yeah. uh, both of them are needing of an update. Uh, damage transferred using Strategist may not later be dealt to the chief. Don't know how that would work. Yeah. Uh, mastermind to Mastermind. Um, but so basically about his leadership power, just so people understand, leadership in the 2020 world we live in now automatically gives you an extra action. Back then, you'd have to roll, and if you succeeded to remove the token, you would also get an extra action. So this one, he just always gets the action. So he has to forego getting a plus one action to get his manipulate token. That's how, that's how I read and understand it, basically. Sorry, keep going with your with your team and everything, Simeon. Yeah, I, was, I just want to make sure. Also, his name's Niles Calder. Uh, I actually covered this figure years ago as one of my uh, Golden Age Value Corner figures because I I really like him. I really liked him a lot. I I played him a few times. Outsiders, all this like he's awesome support for how yeah. leadership works nowadays. Like he's great. Outsiders perplexes whole dial outwit top dial. Uh, support for a speed power is always good. <laughs> yes. Uh, why have anything else? Um, no, it's pretty solid for but yeah. for 63 points. Yep. Next up is my big bruiser. Oh, oh, hang on. Let's uh, let's get a good look at the chief here. It's a wow. Pretty, pretty. Yeah, that's <laughs> Simeon. Pretty good. Simeon. Pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, next up is my big bruiser of my team. Coming in at 238 points with the hyper time ability, 10 range, good old Superman. This is one of the, the chase supermans from this set. Um, the lower costed one is what I fit on my team. Uh, so he's got scorched air. He can use charge and flurry. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, it's, a, it's a good combo. Uh, he has another special... That's His attack power is Kryptonian Strength. He can use Super Strength. Superman can carry two objects at the same time. If they are both standard objects, he can only use one object per attack. So he can... And he can't combo that with Flurry, even though... It's no. Super I wonder if you used to be able to, because running up and hitting someone for s seven twice would oh, basically yeah. make me want to quit hero clicks. Uh, I don't know if you could use Quinn, objects with Flurry, but... The Harley Quinn uh, Superman God of Strength can pick up two objects. Ooh. And then he can, like, destroy one to get, like, a plus one attack and damage. Okay. There so you go. could have, like, a heavy and a light and destroy the light. And, yeah. Hmm. He starts with All a right. special damage, which is restoring order when the result of a successful attack roll made by Superman is doubles. The target is dealt damage normally, but is not knocked back, which knockback is optional now, so... That's just the way it is anyhow. Instead, if the target has zero or one action token after the attack has been resolved, give the target an action token. Mm. So, a little bit of, like, in cap kind of action, possibly. Sure. And uh, filling out the team, just some random fluff. We've got... I'm going to skip my, my bystander for now. We've got Kid Flash, who starts with uh, Flurry. Oh, no, doesn't start with that. That's his uh, second and third click. He starts with uh, hypersonic speed, but only option one. I was going to look up what old hypersonic Oh, was. yikes. I can't yeah. remember. Um, but I'm just going to say he can use hypersonic. I don't remember what option one and option two were. But, yeah, I assume option one was still the one where you could move and attack. Um, when Kid Flash moves, he ignores the effects of characters hindering, ter hindering terrain, elevated terrain, and blocking terrain on movement. He can't end his movement on blocking terrain. And then late dial, he gets Human Tornado. Once per turn, Kid Flash can use Force Blast as a free action. So probably do that if he doesn't die right away. And then hmm. filling out the team as my bystander is Matter I'm Eater not, Lad. Uh, his backstory is he was born on a planet that was like so harsh they had to eat garbage and like rocks and like uranium and all these terrible things. So he's just really good at eating stuff. Um, and so he's got a special speed that is he can't <laughs> carry people because he's a hungry liner. And then he's got this. This is this is really who you should be in the thumbnail because like that that's your speed power, Simeon. I mean, let's let's blow him up. Let's see. He got like goggles or something. <laughs> that is, I don't know. That is a pretty good description of me. Uh, oh, jeez. Loner. Hungry loner. Can't care. What a guy. People. Yeah, he's eating like the cosmic cube there. Of course, yes. The cosmic I cube. Yeah. You know, that DC object. <laughs> DC objects, the cosmic cube. mother box. I don't know. I yeah. know ate some dude's finger one time, and that was like impressive for some reason. I don't remember who it was mm. or anything else. All right. Uh, well, to get into my Mutant Mayhem team... I'm going to start off with Apocalypse being my big, heavy bruiser guy, I suppose. He has a special speed power for his first four clicks, which is uh, phase and teleport, plasticity, and shape change, which is pretty cool. He's got, near the middle of his dial, after his first click, he has psionic power, special attack, which is he can use incapacitate, mind control, and penetrating psychic blast. When Apocalypse would take pushing damage... Roll a d6. On a result of a 4 through 6, he does not take pushing damage instead. So, they could have gave a 250 point figure willpower 50, for those random... willpower. That's pretty good. Yeah, instead it's 50-50 yeah. willpower. Uh, and then late dial, I have toughness regeneration, which is pretty solid. That's a lot of and clicks of that, yeah. It's a lot of clicks of that, yeah, for four clicks on the end dial with also, uh, you know, flurry and still energy. Straight. Still energy yeah. uh, next up, clocking in at 69 points, nice, nice. is Dark Beast. <laughs> Dark Beast is pretty cool. He has Sadistic, which just is an attack power that lets him use damage power, so it gives him exploit weakness. <laughs> That's a lot of these powers, guys. Yeah. A lot of them. They're like, we, we want him to have Perplex and exploit weakness. <laughs> he, it's we really big for us. Damage? No, no, no. Give him a special attack that gives him the other power. 
Yeah. Ah. Uh, and then on his last four clicks, he has Cruel Experiment. Give Dark Beast a power action. Roll a d6. On the result of a three through six, give an action token to an adjacent friendly opposing character with zero or one tokens. On a five or six, deal two unavoidable damage to an adjacent opposing character. On a six, deal one damage to each adjacent opposing character. Apply all applicable results. So they all stack. So I can deal one damage to everybody. Two unavoidable to one person, and give one person an action token on a six. On a one or two, it does nothing. Sure, uh, that's pretty. But awful. yeah, it's 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 a cool experiment, Simeon. And he's Brotherhood of Mutants, so he can uh, yeah. remove an action token on a yes. ten plus when he, when he makes when he makes attacks. Uh, and then Wolverine has no special powers or abilities at all. He's very simple. He just he's got power cosmic and running shot and flight, and that's it. Very simple, like. There's nothing to him. That's Wolverine. Baby. Double penetrating damage up. Yes, up. always, always able to penetrate, which is just great. Uh, and then Pete Wisdom, old Dan Smarts here, uh, clocking in, making my team an even 500 points with his weird 33 point value. Uh, he's just got one special, which is a figure rata where hot knives was once just called orange, but now it's like it's energy explosion. Once they realize that orange is not a power. And someone screwed up and just typed the word orange. They're like, oh, what's that What's that orange attack value? Gosh, it's orange. You know, so yeah. And then we're going to be using a, good lord, an event dial this game, which is Captain Universe. So we're going to turn it, the hourglass is to turn it, which is at the end of any turn in which a character was knocked out or at the end of a round. So a round is when me and Simeon both take a turn, and then a turn when someone is knocked out is obviously a turn they get knocked out. The blue is touched by... Thank you, Simeon. This is much harder to read. Uh, is touched by Enigma Force once during your turn. Sorry, don't switch I'll, it. Oh, no. I'll, I'll go back. I just wanted to okay. get a glimpse of the cool... Oh, yeah, yeah. The Hulk. The sculpt of the card, yeah. Yes, yeah. the sculpt of the card. Well, the sculpt of it is this little black puck. It's just a dial. There is no sculpt. Some have sculpts. This one does not. Uh, touched by Enigma Force. Once during your turn, make an attack. When you make an attack roll, if the result is e on either of the two dice is a one, you can re-roll one die before determining the attack, and then you must use a re-rolled result. So it lets you prob a one, basically, because you're going to use it on the one. So yeah, or prob out of a crit miss. That's basically all that blue does. And we won't be able to use that until our second round of the game. Uh, the red one's a little more complicated. So at the beginning of each player's turn, that player rolls 2d6 and subtracts from the result a number of his or her KO'd figures. So I, if I if Simeon killed Apocalypse and Dark Beast, I would subtract 2 from this roll, right? If the result is 4 or less, that player then chooses a target on his or her force, and it gives them all these powers. So instead of the normal powers they can use, and team abilities, they instead have a range value of 10. Uh, they can use Power Cosmic, and the following powers, Energy Explosion, Force Blast, Hypersonic Speed, Incapacitate, Outwit, Phase and Teleport, Steel Energy, and Super Strength. So it basically imbues them with the Force. So we have to roll a 4 or less uh, on 2d6, subtracting our KO'd characters. So, yeah, that's how that one works. Yeah, it's possible to roll like a like a crit miss and get this like without any KO'd yeah. characters, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. If you roll a crit miss, you can get it. I can do it. I know I can. And that is only when it's obviously showing my special on the red. object that I'm playing. You did not go over the fire hydrant. Here's the the opened hydrant. As you can see, mm. table has no rows. That explains what that does. Um, basically, uh, within three squares and open clear terrain, uh, it just becomes water around that object. It's just a special object that does that. Um, so it it can't cover this hindering. And it can't go up to the elevated because it has to be grounded, clear terrain. Yes. Uh, but that's what all this water is from, is from my special little hydrant there. Yeah. And on the left and right, you can see the scopes for our teams, which flyers we have, all that all that fun stuff. Yeah, they got rid of flyers, right. so now they've got cool sculpts. Yeah. Oh, no, we still have... I still have uh, oh, and Wolverine. crappy yeah. flight stands. Wolverine and Apocalypse still have flight stands, yes. I'm making sure Superman. Can he fly? He does have flight, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it would be really weird if he. Whoa, did, but... yeah. All right. Why did I just put two heavies in my starting area? That's. Hmm, that's a great question. So, I mean, you can't put them there. I'll put them right here. 
Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. Definitely not have Superman pick them up. Mm. Oops. Mm. Mm. Uh, All right. Well, Simeon one map. We're playing on a Crisis map. No, we're not. We're playing on a Mutations of Monsters map because Crisis map is awful. So. Yeah, he got to choose map. Simeon is going first. So, Simeon, by all means, whenever you're ready, take us away. And I am going to add a little counter for our, our universe deal. And that's going to be this Dial H logo up here. And I'll just change the amount of tokens it has. It starts with zero, so we're on nothing. And then we'll, we'll move it. Click number will obviously be its normal red click number when we get there. Let's see here. Superman has a speed of 10. Uncle Sam isn't big yet, but he has leap climb and chief. He's not going anywhere fast with his support speed. Um, <laughs> Mad Hunter Lad does have flight. Kid Flash does ignore stuff. So I think chief is the only one that we really need to carry. Uh, so... I need to put a token on Chief because he's going to get a manipulate token this turn. Yes. Matter Eater Lad cannot carry Chief, remember? Yes, yes. Yes. Um, Uncle Sam can, though. So. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting so placement. Move, yeah. I'll Uncle have to Sam. Move him here. Ah, good. <laughs> that was really good foresight on the um, beginning of the game setup on your characters there. I'm just going to leave That was great. Mm hmm. To, to right here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. That's mm. enough squares for the things that I wish to do. Mm. Uh, gonna carry him there. Uh, Kid Flash doesn't have flight, but he ignores almost all terrain. Uh, let's see. Hindering, elevated, and blocking. So, pretty much everything on this map and characters. Um, he is a 10. Matter Eater Lad coming in at the slowest with 8. We're going to go ahead and go 2, 4, 6. We'll put him right here for no mm. reason. Uh-huh. Yeah. No reason at all. Uh -uh. None. No. None. Uh-huh. Uh, Kid Flash okay. will park himself over here. Mm. And Superman's can, can Kid Flash fly over all that? He just ignores it. Oh, really? He ignores elevated, hindering, blocking. Uh, oh, that's right. Characters. Up walls, up walls, through walls. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Fifth so action. We'll right 500 here. point game, by the way, guys. If, you haven't, if we haven't let you figure that one out yet. 500 point game yet. I do not have a theme team. Surprisingly, I don't either. Um, uh, mine are all. Mutant, except for, believe it or not, Wolverine only has the monster keyword. I guess once he's a zombie, he is no longer a uh, mutant yeah. or something. Zombies, zombie definitely comes first. Absolutely. So Wolverine is going to go ahead and carry Beast. Uh, let's see. Wolverine can move four if you're running shots, though. Carrying Beast. I'm just going to see. I have eight range. Uh, well, technically, range starts here, right? Hmm. Hmm. I think uh, I think Wolverine's gonna running shot carry beast. That's, that's not how that works. You're yeah, it does. When when you normally count, do we count from the square we occupy or the square right in front of us, Simeon? Normally, well, like from your character to the square in front of him would be one square, right? When we play a normal game in real life, do we not start counting? Do we count the one square in front of us? No. Yeah, we, we can't. <laughs> What are you oh, talking about? what are you talking about right now? I didn't. I, I'm sorry. I didn't realize how um, this roll twenty thing works. So this is square zero. Never mind. I'm. I'm a liar. We're just gonna move. <laughs> We're just gonna move to here. Um, I was very concerned for a second. Man, yikes! I've only been playing. How long have we been playing this this game? Say, uh, reach of two. Let's you punch. All right, squares. Simeon. All right, yeah, Simeon. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Jeez. <laughs> A little tired. Beast is going to outwit Superman's special speed power. Don't yeah. That. Apocalypse is going to fly up here with that object. Well, it's, it's under him, but not really. And we're just going to we're gonna slap that guy there. And then we're going to outwit 
Um, the attack power. Uh, the attack power on the chief. My with perplex out. and uh, my perplex and whatever tokens. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. We have to outwit. We have to. We're just gonna outwit. You're outwit. Whatever. I'm just. I'm done. I'm done. Didn't think I was this tired. Lord, goodness gracious, Simon. Uh, it's your go. This is an end of a turn, though. I took. This is end of a round. So I took a turn. You took a turn. That means we go to click number two on our dial here. Superman or so. Uncle Sam, a scientist. Well, Uncle Sam definitely isn't. Uh, we have witness that firsthand. Um, so leadership role will not really matter this turn because there's no actions I can take off him being. Uh, it'll uh, matter. You Kid Flash could potentially remove an action token. Also, this. Kid Flash, right? He's way less points. A three. That will not do it. Mm -mm. So I will add another manipulate token to my mm. card. Uh, let's see. Thank you. Outwitted Superman's speed, so it's up to Uncle Sam. His uh, close combat attack and his leap climb. Let's see. What does Beast have for defense right now? Uh, Dark Beast has 17 with Super Senses. Super Senses. So I can use my hypersonic from move and attack. Yes. And move move my uh, Uncle Sam. And then if he can see multiple people with an action token from whichever screen mm. I end him in, mm. he will have plus one to his attack. So I could okay. potentially get back up to my ten. And if I if I do something really well, then... I could get up to something else, like a, a plus yes. one overall. Wow. Um, <laughs> so Kid Flash, I don't know if I want to push him off of his nine attack. His defense doesn't go down, so that's not too bad. He does get flurry, so that's probably not a terrible thing. Uh, but I don't. I'd have to leave him adjacent for flurry. I don't know if it's worth trying to deal two damage to Dark Beast. 17 with Super Senses. Super Senses. Hmm. They're pretty super. What's, oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I am forgetting something. Uncle Sam has leadership. He can totally do something. Oh, 1d6. That's right. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, glad we, glad we came to that stunning realization, Simeon. Yes. Three minutes into my round, I remembered something that happens at the beginning of it. He didn't <laughs> so, take any actions, so... It's true. Uh, man, Superman, if he had the Superman team ability, I'd feel way cooler about just shooting. But that's a 12 into an 18. I don't know. And he is holding two objects, so I'm not sure how good of a shot he is with that. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, could he pick them both up at the same time? Or does he have to just do the one action to pick up an object? And then uh, I mean, does he has to do another action to pick up the object? Like how you normally pick up objects. I think as long as you're doing a move and moving adjacent or like near it. I don't know, though. That's a good question because I can't pick up an object and drop it in the same time. Right. In the same move. Uh, can carry two objects at the same time if they are both standard objects. He can use only one per object attack. I do not know. Doesn't. All right, we'll, we'll leave it for now. Even if it like ends up totally screwing me, whatever, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I could just throw one at you. That made me feel pretty good. Could do that as well. Um, so I think Uncle Sam is going to activate his hypersonic. Oh boy! Finally, we got to there. Yeah, which actually I probably shouldn't do that because that that uh, makes him giant and he loses his leadership. Glad we finally rewound from there. He Boy, this is riveting, <laughs> Simeon. This is riveting. Gonna, I gotta tell go you what. Ahead and I'm gonna perplex up Uncle Sam's defense with the chief, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I'm just gonna clear everybody this turn. Oh. <laughs> 
Uh, I'll use the Outsiders team ability Livid! on. Uh, I'll use the Outsiders team ability on Apocalypse. Okay. Take that. Okay. Jeez. Wow. Such a good turn. Way to show me, Simeon. Way to just I... a- egg on my face. You know what the problem is? I forget that like these 150 plus point characters don't have Endom, and so. Yeah. I always expect that I can just go again, and uh, and I realize I cannot. <laughs> okay. Okay, Simeon. Simeon, okay. Dark Beast is going to outwit Superman's speed power again. Mm. Dark Beast is then going to leap climb. To there. Wow. Taking an action mere seconds after starting your turn. I, mm-hmm. see, how it, I see how it is. Yes. Yeah, it does. It does be like that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, before he moves, Apocalypse is going to outwit Niles Calder's outwit. Okay. There we go. Uh, and then Wolverine is going to go ahead and running shot. Let's see. Who does he want to target? Let me see. If, do I have two targets? I think I just have the one. Yeah, I just have the one. Okay, cool. Uh, we have the choice between probably Sam or Superman. Let's go ahead. Well, I mean, we don't even have to running shot. We can just shoot, we can shoot them both. Let's just shoot them both. Uh, we're in a running shot, actually, to here. Womp, womp. Okay, yeah. Running shot to here, we're going to shoot Uncle Sam. All right. He is a 19. That will miss. I believe. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I have a 10 attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now we're going to go ahead. We're going to have P Wisdom move. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. And we're going to clear Mr. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Clear an apocalypse. Here you go. Okay. I see. I yes. See. Yep. Uh, let's see. What does the chief have? He's got at least one damage, I imagine. He does have one damage. Um, he also has support, which I don't need right now. Uh, he's going to go ahead and perplex down Dark Beast's defense. And he's going to take a swing at Dark Beast. And Outsiders me? No, no, no. <laughs> just, just the perplex down part. Okay. All right. So he'll go nine into your 16. Yes. For potentially one. All right, I got to roll those super senses, baby. Nope, taking one. I'm going to click two. What's your defense now? Ah, you fool. Now it's still a 17 with super senses. Okay. Does he still have outwit, though? It's the, it's the he, has perplex, he has perplex now. That's the biggest thing, yeah. Ooh. Uh, Kid Flash is going to come in there and try and wallop him as well. So he's going to go here. And he's going to move there, and he's going to yeah, hypersonic, go there, try and punch Dark Beast. He's got a 9 attack, I believe, as well. Still need a 7 then, yeah. Kid Flash, 9 for 2. Yeah, we'll whittle away at you. That's what we'll do. No. no. We will not. Uh, but now... Good old Uncle Sam, with his plus two attack, he will okay. he will definitely punch Dark Beast. So he's got a twelve for four, swinging on Dark Beast, who's got a sixteen. Feel confident in this roll. Feel confident in you missing Ooh, super senses. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Takes me a click six. All right. Now I'm not super worried about Dark Beast now. Uh, Apocalypse is the one with the other outwit, so maybe I want to I want to do something to him. He's got invuln, is that right? I have impervious top dial. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wolverine's got the invuln. Well, I definitely need to do something to Apocalypse because he's the only one that hasn't cleared yet, or that hasn't taken an action. So. Mm-hmm. Superman, with his recently 
rejuvenated speed power of Charge Flurry and his 10 speed. Uh, I think he's just going to Charge Flurry you. That way I have two shots of doing potentially three damage rather than you rolling your impervious both. Times. Okay. Uh, you can move the object. It's technically under me, so I just put it by the stairs or something. I don't know. Uh, I'll go ahead and roll for shape change. No, no, All right. no. Go for it. All right. What's your defense value again? It's an 18, sorry. Aha. Impervious. Damn. Dang. For, that for sucks. Three. Takes me All a right. full. Go ahead and roll your shape change again. If you Do you have shape change again? There it is. Uh, okay. Nice. Well, at least I got one attack in. Um... And I guess Matter Eater Lad could do something. Man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He'll go. Uh, he'll just go right here. I almost forgot that I put him next to the chief. Mm. Uh, I mean, I put him in formation. Uh, with yes. The, rest of the squad. Yes. Uh, not next to any particular person for any. Particular okay. Uh huh. Okay, Simeon. Simeon. Okay. All right. That is my my really long and uh, what does what does Beast have for like attack and speed right now? Uh, for attack, Beast has nothing, and for speed, he has stealth. Okay. What about Apocalypse? What has he got going on? on uh, Apocalypse, his speed is his special speed power, and then for attack is his special attack power, which is the in cap mind control pen blast, okay. pushing damage thing. Okay, well, we will outwit that with the chief. The ch yes. Okay. Yes. I'm assuming you lost outwit. I don't. I guess I don't. Uh. Know. Yeah. 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 No. Uh. No. I do. I still. Apocalypse does still have outwit. Sorry. On clip oh, four, he still has outwit. Yeah. Never mind. Yep. Yep. All right. Very cool. Um. This sucks. My attack values are uh, very low. So Apocalypse is going to go ahead outwit Superman's defense and just try to. Swing on him. Oh, that has a one in it. We're going to choose to reroll the one Boom. as per Captain Universe rules. That'll hit an 18. I think that's what I've got. 18 with impervious. You're not dealing penetrating damage, right? I did outweigh your defense, though. Oh, that's right. So yes. how much damage am I taking? For four. Faux four. Four damage. Yes. Dang. I wish I had an outwit. Um, so that'll put me on click five. Not sure if I'm dropping both heavies uh, on click five. Still have super strength. But I lost the ability to hold two objects at the same time. So, so you have to drop one of them. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll drop one right here. Yeah. Certain death is almost absolutely awaiting Dark Beast, so we're going to give him a power action push to do his cool experiment so we can at least do it once this game. Because uh, there's no way for me to have Beast heal, sadly. So yeah, instead, cruel experiment time. If we roll a 6, one. it's great. Uh, if we roll a 1 or 2, I will be so mad. We rolled a 5, so on a 5, we got to do all that is applicable, so... Let's go ahead. A five is everything but deal one damage to each adjacent character. So we can deal one person two unavoidable damage and then give one person an action token. So Good. we are going to... I think the way we're going to do it here is we're going to give... Let's see. If we can deal two unavoidable, that's the biggest thing. It's probably going to go to Uncle Sam, I would say. Or maybe somebody else. I don't know. Or, let's see, Chief. That'd be pretty solid, maybe. We're going to deal two unavoidable to the Chief, and then we're going to give Uncle Sam an action token. Okay. Putting the Chief on click three. And then Beast will push himself and die. Uh, can I activate my manipulation tokens? For this? No, it's not an attack. Oh, is it for attacks only? Manipulate? Uh, uh, other than other friendly character would take pushing damage. You can remove and re manipulate token from the Yeah, okay. Card. So, yeah. I'm going to try that to see if Uncle okay. Sam takes pushing damage. 
So on a three through six. Yes. Baby, wow. Wow. So Uncle Sam will go to click two, and I'll go down to uh, one manipulation token. Actually, I should have checked. I don't know if the chief even has that on click three. Yeah, Manipulate is his whole dial. Yeah. dial, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's... All right. Let's see. And then we're just going to clear Mr. Wisdom and the Wolverine. And I think we that ends another turn, right, for both of us. So we're going to click three on the Captain Universe. Around, excuse me, around. Click five. And and a person there. died, actually. And a person died. So oh, we yeah, actually yeah. four. All, All right. right. Superman on click five has hypersonic and heavy. Uh, what is Apocalypse's defense? It is a 16 in vulnerability right now. All right. We're going to go ahead and... 16, I've got a 10, I do 4 damage potentially, or if I perplex it up I could do 5 damage, that's how numbers work. Uh, we're going to go ahead and perplex down Apocalypse's defense with the chief, Okay. because I, I want to be sure, and then we're going to go 10 into your 15. Neither yes, with, with this is, if there was a time to make a shape change... This would be it. Never mind. Whatever. All right. <laughs> Forget I said that. Need a five. Using the one Crit heavy that I can still hold. Crit miss. Ah, you exactly got the five, five, though, sadly. And a one. I can re-roll the one. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, I could have done that with a crit miss, anyhow. You could have crit yeah, done with crit miss as well. And you would have had to roll a three or something and to I, still miss. I don't have anything special anymore. Um... So I didn't get so you my doing, doubles thing. I'm dealing so six. I take five? No, I'm dealing six. Uh, four damage with a heavy. Yes. Okay, so I take four. And then, four, 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 four. Yeah, this cool, cool, object cool. is gone. Uh, Three, four, right, good, and then eight. I'll use my manipulate token thing again. And see oh, yeah, to see. Push. He does not. It's not. Good, nice. Good. That is super good. I'm out of manipulation tokens because I forgot to roll my leaderships this turn. Um, and so we're just going to end up clearing everyone else, I believe. I don't mm. think there's anything super standout that I can do. Uncle Sam's giant-sized now, so that's fun. Uh, cool. But yeah, we'll just clear everyone else for this turn. Very nice, very nice. I gotta check something really quick. How far can I see? Hmm. Pete Wisdom. I think it's finally time for him to use orange, baby. And we're gonna we're gonna use some of that orange on Matter Eater Lad. So energy explosion. That's what I mean by orange. Against old Matter Eater Lad there. We're using blue. So it is a nine to your sixteen going through hindering a seventeen. We need an eight. Wow. Wow. That'll deal two damage to the matter ear lad and then two damage to the chief. Don't can't he say wisdom. That I uh, can't say that he I wisdom. enjoy that. Uh, he let's wisdom. see. <laughs> he the wisdom. chief on click three has no defense, so he's just going straight to click five. He wisdom, baby. He uh, wisdom. And of course, matter eater lad, he's going home a hungry boy. He didn't get to eat anything this game. Mm -hmm. I was going to have nice. him attack Dark Beast at one point, but uh, did not come to fruition. Mm. Be like that sometimes. Apocalypse is going to push to Flurry. I'll double check if I want to do this. Run click A. Yeah, yeah. We're going to use Flurry and Steel Energy. First, we're going to use our Outwit and get rid of Superman's defense. Still has Outwit. Yes. That is that is silly. Yes. So first attack is a nine. Oh, that to a sixteen. Super, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna use we're gonna <laughs> use our little Captain Universe here to re-roll one of those ones. As long as it's not a six. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dog! <laughs> what? All right, I get a flurry though. That sucks. All right. Second attack. Okay, we hit that one, but we we heal one, take two. All right. How much damage uh, are you dealing? Seven. Go to nine. Uh, three damage. Three damage without Lord. any defense. So I'll go to click eight. Good. On good. Click good Lord. Eight. Ooh, I got my charge flurry back, but I'm down to a nine attack for three damage. Not super wow. excited about that. That's what I wanted to have happen, for goodness sake. Uh, we're going to have Wolverine running shot. One, two, three, four, five to here. And we're going to shoot Superman, penetrating Psychic Blast. Oh. Another crit miss, you say? I would really... Okay. Oh. Uh, that was cool and all, but like, I'm pretty sure three pen would have killed him. So yeah, like, it a time to crit hit. This one wasn't it. Uh, and then that's the end of my turn. No one to clear. End of my turn, and someone dies, which we means we actually skip past your our Captain Universe when we go to click six on the old uh, the old Captain Universe dial. So Captain Universe is back to the normal Enigma Force. So it's the end of the round, and then someone died. So, all right, Simeon, go for it. Uncle Sam, my only big hitter left. Still has four damage. Uh, he's got giant reach now. Mm. What does Wolverine have going on defensively? He's an 18 toughness with Wolverine here. Okay, so I can actually damage him with kids. Yes. Yes. Um, and Apocalypse, I'm assuming. Does Apocalypse have toughness now? He has his regen toughness his regen right now. Toughness. Okay. Yes. So I'm actually going for Apocalypse, I believe, with this this uh, round of attack that I'm going to do. Mm. Um, let's see. Kid Flash can just straight up hypersonic over there. I believe he's still on click one. Uh, it doesn't really matter, even if he is on click two. So he's a nine attack for two damage. Apocalypse, what's his defense? Uh, it's an amazing 14 defense, actually. Okay. Uh, since I can re-roll a 1, I'm fairly confident. Because I guess if I rolled two twos with Kid Flash, I'd miss. But what are the chances of that? I'm going to... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we'll just hypersonic straight to right underneath this heavy. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bop it. How many, how many squares is that? Well, Superman is gone, so this is here. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five squares. I five squares, ignore, cool. I ignore characters and everything else in between. Yes. So it's a direct line. Uh, nine to your 14, is that what you said? Mm hmm. That is correct. A whole 14. I need a five. I believe I can do it. Ah, yes, that will do for, it. For for one damage. For one damage. We'll attempt to break away. Okay. And I will get that as well. So I'm going to go to here. Congratulations. The chief. Man, what is the chief doing? On his last click, he's got four speed. Oy. One. And it's halved coming out of hindering. Uh. Yeah, he's just going to sit there. He'll one, two. Go ahead and perplex up. Let's see, I did one damage. I think three more will do it, but I'm going to perplex up Uncle Sam's damage anyhow with the chief, just in case. And then I will move. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I will move the chief. I'm just going to base Wolverine mm. with the chief. And then How dare you? Sam is going to use. Oh, he's giant size now, so uh, he's going to use the transporter ability to hypersonic. He'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Walking around Wolverine, landing on this heavy. And, okay. Uh, I gotcha. So Uncle Sam is down two because of the transporter team ability, but thanks to his special cool uh attack power that he lost never mind 
I am. Yeah, eight. it doesn't have anymore. I am an eight for four. Because that was only ten. <laughs> so, actually, eight you need for to... five. Sorry. Yes. Will a fourteen do it though? That's sadly that is the magical number is the fourteen to get rid of a schmapocalypse here. Who is just who is just awful. That is it for Team Uncle Sam mm. and Crisis Heroes. So we've got three characters down. Uh, I guess, does it click after my turn or just after the round? After the round. So it's going to be, so since you started us, it's going to click after my turns, basically. Okay. Yeah. But it will click twice again. Uh, no, someone died, so it will click once this turn, yes. So it will go to click seven, and it will be on the whatever thing. So, on the red one. So, let's see. Uh, and this is at the beginning of your turn, so you can't roll for it right now. But I will be able to roll for it if I want to, which is cool. Alright, I, I am actually going to roll for that, since I have two characters KO'd. Uh, roll 2d6, it needs to add up to a four or less... That is very hard. Don't even know. See, like, I so I can roll a crit miss. Like, a guaranteed crit miss. <laughs> like, okay. Thanks, Captain Universe. You suck. All right, cool, cool, cool. So no one gets those powers. That's all I needed to know. Uh, I think we're still going to do the same thing, though. And I want Pete Wisdom to shoot the Chief, for sure. Just normal shooting the Chief. No, 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 no. Yes. Does a 15 hit? I, I'm going to say yes, because he has a 14 defense, so yes. Mm. For two damage, and that will push Mr. Wisdom to click two. Not and now Wolverine, no, 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 no. being freed up to do stuff, uh, can now running shot, pen blast. Our target most likely will be uh, Uncle Sammers here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Running shot, pen blast, Uncle Sam. So sitting on on a heavy, so he is an eighteen for range. Mm. Mm. Just because. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's how much. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, do we actually want to move farther back than that? Maybe. Oh, into the water. One, two. Let's get Splishy Splashy into the water. This is my max range here. All right. And that's a nine for three penetrating damage, Uncle Sam. Oh, man. That'll put me down to click five. And then that is the end of my turn. Does this thing just keep moving? I. Uh, the end of any turn, any character is knocked out. And at the end of any round. Yeah, yeah, So I think it just goes back. Would it just to KO? One, 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 does it KO? Yeah. Um, let's look at its card, shall we? Look at that card. Um, well, that gives me absolutely nothing. Uh, I think it dies. I'm going to say it dies. Because I'm tired of it. <laughs> Deleting it. It's oh, gone. Now, now that it's my turn to roll for it, I see how it Yeah, yeah now that it's your yeah, turn to get the cool thing, I'll say that Uncle it Sam goes. Is totally going to do something. Uh, Some... Uncle Sam got knocked right off of... Really quick, being roll, for it. roll for it. If you get it, I'll. It can stay for this one turn. I don't if you get it, you. you have three dead characters. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, Adder Eater Lad doesn't count. He's less than twelve. Oh, he's yeah. He's right. It's true. Uh, so I've got Flurry. Click five is not a good click for me. Uh, can't can't have Flurry me. No. With your seven. I am going to go ahead and push him though mm. um, since I have a 9 and I'll go to a 9 I'm going to push him to hypersonic down to Pete Wisdom I'll have a 7 okay. attack so that's one, yes two, against three, Pete Wisdom's five. 16 defense yeah this is not, not great close though oh, it, was. it was yikes That'll push me to click six. And so now I get my special power back. And then the flash is going to clear. Going mm. the distance, Kid Flash. You probably won't be able to take Wolverine out by himself. but I am also going to clear, and it is your turn. All right. Yeah, 
so Pete Wisdom has a 16, you said? 17. He is a 16 with ESD, yes. 16, 16. Hmm. Well, Flash is just going to keep doing what he's been doing. He's going to go 1, 2, mm. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 squares. End up next to good old Uncle Sam. And his 9 attack into your 16. You need a 7. You got it. For 2 damage, so I'm not two. sure if you have toughness. Two, four. I, don't know. I got ESD. And... Uncle Sam will clear. Mm. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. No, 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 no. Mm. Pete Wisdom's definitely in the way there. You can't see it. Okay, no, no, no. I, no, I got it. No, I got it. Let's see, if I just draw a line of fire like that, then we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, shouldn't have moved Wolverine this far out. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, we can still only move five squares and then shoot eight squares. So, let's see, let's see if we move him there. No. I mean, I think it, you can see the back corner of me, right? Yeah, if I do that's like this. Need. Yeah, that's all you need yeah. to see, I think. So. Okay. Cool. We're going to running shot to there. We'll shoot uh, Uncle Sam. All right. On click... What is he? Click six now. On click six, he'll have a 17, an 18. And 17. Ah! Razzmatazz. Okay, I had to, had to see for myself. Okay. Well, you're also and then. Green, so. I am. That's never mind. I'm also like, blatantly <laughs> shooting through it as well. Never mind. Uh, and then Pete Wisdom with his exploit weakness uh -oh. will try to get Uncle Sam here. Wow. Does a does a thirteen hit you, Simeon? No. no. Believe it or not. No. All right. Well, then it's your go. All right. Comes down to good old Uncle Sam. He's got three damage now, but he's on flurry and he's got a special attack. So, he's at a whopping 10 attack right now, because mm, the kid go. Flash has a token. So, he's going to go ahead and flurry. I'm still at that wisdom. whopping 16 defense, maybe. Okay. All right. Need a 6. Need a 6. There's one. Well, For three there is. damage. Well, oh, it's gone. No need to roll another. Seven yeah, it's, that's it. Wolverine. Three damage doesn't... Does nope. Eight three. Hit okay. Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight With your escape. giant reach. Yeah. With your giant H8, yeah, yeah, yeah. You Big is your country. Yeah. You can't escape. <laughs> Uncle Sam. Okay, okay. He, okay. he should be on board. Well, Wolverine is Canadian. Ah. Uh, Bam. Bam. Look at that. Extradite. Uh, I think we're just going to clear the Kid Flash. Fun. I don't okay. see any reason for him to push. Fair. We're going to running shop Wolverine here, shooting Uncle Sam. is an 18 that, hit that will hit this time three for three, three baby penetrating damage three clicks deep i will still be alive i'm gonna click nine ah sadly okay and then that is all i have for my turn it is your go Ooh, push to regen the old question good podcast good podcast uh wolverine's got invulm he has toughness. 18 toughness. Oh, Still toughness. top dial. Okay. Then we'll just super hypersonic over here with Kid Flash. Okay. I mean, a regular hypersonic, but... Yes. Definitely doing it. Uh, 9 into your 18. Ooh, close. 17. Very um, close. That is all we have that turn, because I'm not going to push... Uncle Sam mm. death, so. Mm. <laughs> All right. Uh, then I will clear Wolverine, because I have no way to go past. I have no Colossal Stamina, so it is your turn, Simeon. All right. Sweet. Uncle Sam's going to go ahead and regen. <laughs> so, is. is that surprising? I hope it is. No. Um, if I get a three, that'll just totally undo your last attack. What I, and that what I be, stunned really did. That would be really cool. 
Mm, I wouldn't like it. A All two. Right. I'll hear it. A two. Two clicks up to click seven. Uh, still way better than what I was at. Yes. It's not great, but it's okay. Um, and then I think at this point I will push Kid Flash to it. Mm, okay. Does Wolverine still have running shot? I still have running shot, yes. Okay. So I am going to push him to attack. Once again, still top dial. I'm not going to bother hypersonicing around. Okay. Oh, yeah, I missed you. Duh. I don't know how. Super thought I hit. All right. That, and that's still that'll okay. miss putting Kid Flash Here we are. to. Now I've got to roll some tens if Kid Flash wants to hit. Mmm. Fun. Well, you do have Flurry. And Uncle Sam is like the easiest he's going to be able to for me to hit this turn. So I kind of want to running shot break away from you. And I think right now is a pretty good time to do it. So never mind. I will instead give myself an action token. And it is your turn, Simeon. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. All right. Impressive. Impressive. I like it, I like it a lot. Uh, let's see. Can the Titans team ability heal the Justice Society of America team ability? It's not how either of those work. Hmm. But it should hmm. be, right? Uh, no, absolutely not. Because it's just society's defenders and whatever. Well, Uncle Sam's not getting any younger. Uh, he certainly is not. No. I think I'm going to push him to phase here. Okay. Just because I like that positioning a little bit better. Mm -hmm. put him yeah, yeah, I knew, I knew, see, I knew you were going to do some garbage like this. <laughs> what? I, you don't... I have eyes, Simeon. <laughs> What's, what power do you have on click 8 now that's slightly uh, better than what added on click 9? I think they're all the same. Still phasing, mm -hmm. still at special mm -hmm. attack, still have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, scumbag. He, also a for those regen. watching at home, 15 with regen, yeah, there you go. So we can heal back up more of this... Oh, dick. Uh, we're gonna see now. If I would have hit Kid Flash before, I I'd feel less uh, risky about doing this. We're still gonna break away running shot. Ah, oh, come on, man. Yes. All right. Good. Whatever. Okay. Good. I'm past it. I'm over it now. I should have punched Kid Flash twice. Let me just really quick. First attack against Kid Flash would have missed. Second attack, or would have missed. Whatever. All right. Here we go. Speaking Never mind. Either choice I would have made would have been bad. Kid Flash is gonna flurry you. Gonna try yeah, to there it twice. is. Shut up, Simeon. Need, ah. need some tens. First attack. Come on, we'll be. Second attack. Eight. Ah, Rattataz. So I take one whole damage. One whole damage. Going to two. And Kid Flash will get a speed token. Oh wait, he didn't move. Okay. Uh, yes, sure, Simeon. No sure, 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 sure. For Kid Flash. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's absolutely all I can do that turn. So, Uncle and Sam absolutely clear. all I can do is clear. So now look at that. Back to you, you scumbag. <laughs> I hate. Kid Flash. You know what's crazy is he doesn't get. Uh, does Wolverine still have three damage though? That's the big question. Wolverine. Uh, let me see here. Yes, he still has three damage. Okay. Because uh, if I can hit him off three damage, then I wouldn't feel bad about pushing Kid Flash. But he'll survive. Well, you, well, you have, well, you have Flurry, bud. I know, I know. But it is he still an eighteen? I'm a seventeen now. Okay, so I only need a nine. Um, well, we'll start off with regenning. Yeah, scumbag. Little Uncle Sam. I hope roll a one. Down, but never out. Okay. Of course. So I'll heal up to click oh. five. Oop, not fifty-five. That's that it. sucks. On click five. You're the worst. You are a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> On click five, I've got flurry with <laughs> Sam now, so, so that's the thing. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, Simeon. Whatever, man. Simeon. Do it or don't do it, man. Uh, Attack! Uh, kill me! Kill me now! Kill me now! Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to push Kid Flash to okay. Flurry. Okay. His 8 into your 17. 17. Needs some 9s. First attack, no. Second attack, though, also no. Nice. Peer pressure, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get him. Ah, 
All right, well, Wolverine needs... Uh, he's actually down to a 9 attack right now. Uh, what is Kid Flash pushed to? Is he still on 18? Kid Flash is on click 3 now. So he's at a 17 on click 3. Okay. Let's go for it. Wolverine needs an 8. Oh, for goodness sake. For goodness sake, people. Simeon, it is your go. I am going to... I don't think I've got anything going on. Titans, mm -hmm. uh, Uncle Sam, also nothing. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do some, some super clearing. Uh, Kid Flash, no more action tokens. Uncle Sam, also no action tokens. Wolverine needs to punch Kid Flash again. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Ooh. For three damage right there. And it is your turn. Right. See, let's see who wins between the U.S. and the Canadian. That's right. Uncle Sam will step up one square. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. And then Wolverine will clear. <laughs> All right. Uncle Sam's gonna push. He's okay. Got nine for three. He's gonna Here we go. Flurry you. All right. You need an eight. No reason to do this other than I don't want to get attacked first. First attack. A seven. Nope. Second attack. An eight. Ah, there it is. So I'll take two. Go to click four. And I'll take one, going to click six. Which is familiar. I was on this click before. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I wish to get there. Wolverine now has steel energy on click four, but sadly, it is with an eight attack. So. I do have let's, a 17 defense. Let's try to roll those nines. Another nine. Ladies and gentlemen, that ain't it. And we very smartly got rid of our event dial. Um, I think, so, here's honestly how I think it works. And I'm not changing it because I'm not going to try to pull it up again. I think those hourglasses appeared on those clicks to, like, get you to the other one. I don't remember offhand. But I'm like, it's so weird on the that it has... Don't have it. Yeah, or something like yeah. that, right? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I've never had an event dial physically, like, never had one. And The worst uh, part is I'm pretty sure I own I, I'm pretty sure I own some of these, and I think they're just, like, in the other room. So, but it's your turn, Simeon. Uh, I will clear this turn. Ah, nice. There's no reason for me to not push, so let's roll a nine. Wow. All right, Simeon, here you go. All right. Still got flurry. I still have a beautiful 16... Attack. Ah, oh, well, you only need a 7. And I couldn't roll a 7 these last two times, let alone a 9, so... Well, this is for America, Calder. Mm, this hurts. I'm trying to beat you This cuts deep America. to me. Ah, oh, wow. Wow. There ah, it is. A seven. Is that still for 3? Still for 3. So I go to click 6 now. Mm. Mm, I hate it. Alright, I have to clear. Ooh. If I push, I lose my... Not only do I go down to an 8 attack, but if I push, mm -hmm. I also lose my flurry. Okay. I think I'm going to. What's your defense mm -hmm. value? Uh, sadly, it is a 14 right now, Simeon. All it right. is a 14. He's got Critness. red and blue action tokens. I hate you. The background's white. I hate you so much right now. You're, you're on green, though. You are on green. You are technically on green. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, and so Zombie Wolverine four. is out of the game. <laughs> wow, Man. good game, sir. I I really wish I would have gotten those breakaways to kill your Uncle Sam, because I could easily see the scum scumbaggery you were gonna pull with that with yes. that region. You yes, very much so. Scumbag. So yes, that that concludes this Thursday throwdown. Next week. Simeon is going to be building from Secret Invasion, and I'm going to be building from Arkham Asylum. Simeon, tell me about one figure from Secret Invasion that you hope gets a vote, or that you want to see on your team. Well, of course, it's number 027 Tarantula, known as mm -hmm. uh, you know the daughter of the original Tarantula. But really, it's uh, the Super Scroll Illuminati. Because, you know, he's got the Scrolls team ability. Look at all these special powers. And he's special got powers, yeah. He's got Super Scroll. Illuminati is a wild card on your turns. On opponent's turns, he can only use the Scrolls team ability. He's got Charge, Flurry, Plasticity, 
as his speed power later in his dial. Once per good. turn before making close combat attack for Super Scroll Illuminati, you can declare that damage from the attack will be penetrating damage. I can declare that. Okay. Uh, starting off, he's got, you know, he's got Quake with uh, running shots. So that's good. Uh, when he succeeds at an attack, I roll a d6 on the result of a 4 or 5. If the target of the attack has no action tokens, give the target an action token after the attack resolves. On a 6, damage from the attack is penetrating, so there's a chance that I'll actually mm. damage someone. Uh, and my defense, the iron defense, is uh, I just reduce damage to 1. Oh, wow. That's so pretty that's, good. That's good for clicks 1, 4, and 5. It's pretty solid. And then... Uh, my special damage power that I have half my dial is perplex, and I can use it normally, or I can modify any one of his own combat values, plus two or minus two, until the beginning Ooh, of the next turn. That's really good. This is a insanely, like, this is an actually, like, well-costed 250-point figure. I mean, still no Indom. Still no Indom, yes. Which but made him pretty solid, it's, but top yeah. dial, he's pretty menacing. Uh, Rocking a 20 defense or, or a 12, 12 attack. Four. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Defense, and then scrolls, of course, giving me a shape change on a six. Right. Hasn't changed yet. Fantastic four and out. Uh, for me, for my Arkham Asylum pick, I'm going to go with Bizarro number one. That is uh, 048 Bizarro number one. I like him mainly for the reason of like kind of what happened in this game, where his defense starts low, but it actually ramps up. So when it's just me versus Uncle Sam, and I've got an 18-19 defense, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. Plus, he's all upside down, floating, flying, whatever. It's clever. It's a clever sculpt. I like it. He's also in Justice League, which is cool. Uh, he has the, whatever, attack power, which is any attack roll of doubles made by Bizarro, other than double sixes or double ones, is considered to be double fives, which is Damn. solid. Yeah. And then attacks don't cause knockback. But, like, that's pretty awesome. So any doubles I roll besides a crit hit, crit miss, you know, twos, threes, fours, is instantly double fives, which also works for his Injustice League, which lets me remove an action token also, uh, when I roll a 10 or higher. Um, that so helps a hitting. lot when he goes down to his, like, nine attack. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Just for Cause that's like a 19 having a good roll. Doubles. Exactly. It is, it is solid. So he's hitting 20s when he rolls doubles, baby. So I, I really like this Bizarro, and that concludes our game, guys. So another epic Golden Age Brawl has come to a close. Remember, you can vote for what figures we use on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord, and the comments of this video. Like I said, next week, I am building out of Arkham Asylum. Simeon is building from, goodness gracious, Secret Invasion. It was right there. Yep, Secret Invasion. The scroll, and that's the everything. Scroll game. Yeah. Yeah, so that is everything. change rules going on, I imagine. Probably not good ones. Hey, you leave all the same alone. Probably not. <laughs> all right. But yeah, that is, that's it, guys. Go home. That is the episode. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy trails.